hello in this video we are going to create new forest and domain tree and promoting the first domain controller and dns in windows server 2012 r2 and windows server 2016 also we will promote additional domain controller with dns service for availability i have created one virtual server with windows 2012 r2 operating system installed as you know, in previous version of Windows Server 2012, we were using the DC Promo command line to promote domain controller. But in Windows Server 2012 and 2016, it has become a history and we cannot use DC Promo to promote a domain controller. Start, run, DC Promo. And as shown in the message, it has changed and relocated in server manager. So the only way to promote a server to a domain controller is to use server manager or PowerShell. Let's see from server manager, go to local server and let's start to configuring the server. First, we should assign static IP. Click on IP version four. Select IP version 4. Enter the IP. Submit mask. Gateway. And DNS. To send the DNS request to itself. OK. Close. Refresh to detect the new IP. Assign server name, change the name of server to lab-dc-01. OK. OK. Close. Restart. Login to the server. Go to local server again. The name of server changed. Enable remote desktop to be able to connect to server remotely. Select allow remote connection to this computer. OK. And apply. OK. Select all servers. Right click on the server and select add rules and features next rule based next select server already we have one server next select active directory domain service checkbox asking me to add additional features that require for active directory domain service add features select dns checkbox to add features next all selected features required Next, information on requirement and best practice for Active Directory domain service. Next, the same for DNS. Next, confirmation dialog is the final checkpoint before the rule installation starts. Install now. Installation complete. Close. Go to task notifications and press promote this server to a domain controller in the deployment configuration page we will select add new forest as we don't have forest or domain tree add root domain name domain name requires a valid fully qualified domain dns name freecloud.com next Configure the forest function level and domain function level for the new forest root domain. By default, these settings are Windows Server 2012 R2 in a new forest root domain. You can specify Windows Server 2012 R2 domain function level. Only domain controllers that run Windows Server 2012 R2 can host the domain controller. This allows you 
the flexibility of a more homogeneous in the forest in terms of which operating systems are permitted to be run on domain controllers. For example, if you select Windows Server 2008 R2, you can promote Windows Server 2008 R2 or higher and cannot promote Windows Server 2003 domain controller. Also, the global catalog and DNS option are unavailable and selected by default when creating a new forest root domain. The first domain controller must be a global catalog and DNS and cannot be a read-only domain controller. Directory service restore mode is used to login to a domain controller when the computer is started in directory service restore mode in case of something wrong and allow you to start a domain controller in order to restore the system state data and then restore the sysvol folder and active directory enter directory service restore mode password next next enter Nate bios name shortcut name next Pathed page enables you to override the default folder location in the Active Directory database. The database transaction logs and the sysvol share. Next, review your settings and also you can use view script button to create a Unicode text file that contains the current Active Directory database deployment configuration as a single Windows PowerShell script. Next. Pre-requisite check before the promotion. Install. The server will automatically reboot after 10 seconds. As you see, we will log in to domain. Log in to the server. Server manager launching. And as you see, active directory, domain service, and DNS rule installed. Open tools. As you see, all management admins tools installed. Open active directory users and computers. Select Domain Controller, OU, as you see the first domain controller created. Select Users OU, Administrator Account and all built-in users and groups created. No computer joined to domain. Close. Tools. Open DNS. Forward Lookup Zone. Free Cloud Zone created. Now, we will install additional domain controller with DNS service. Let's go.